So next, moving on to Barnyard, we're going to want to go to its site here at securexlive.com to first download it. Go to download. There it is, the tar file downloading. And that's the same one we have, is the uh, 1.9 for Barnyard 2. So we're going to copy that package into the right folder. Change to that directory. Untar it. Change to the barnyard directory. We want to make sure it's configured with MySQL along with the make and make install. Okay, configuration. We want to copy the sample configuration file from the package directory into the etc directory. Now we want to edit the barnyard2conf. All right, just going to do a quick search to config interface. The config interface. We want to uncomment this line. And we're going to call this ENO. We also need to modify the Waldo file. So we can uncomment this and give it its full directory. Ding var whack log barnyard two whack waldo. We need to get to the output database. And we want it to be log MySQL. We're going to uncomment this line. So we have it log MySQL is the username, is root. That's what we want. I'm not going to enable a password, so we'll just delete that. The database name. The snort, that's where it'll send all of its logs. And the host is localhost, that's what we'll keep. So we can quit this, save the changes. And what we just did there, we loaded the Snort MySQL database schema file, which creates the database table structure. Next, just to make sure everything is working, just going to make sure that Barnyard is. It's installed and ready to work. Okay. So we quit Barnyard. Again, we have an option here to run it in daemon mode in the background, but we're not going to. We're going to create the scripts to have it automatically start.